things he's been able to do with MMA and the UFC, but he's not um, a good person. He seems to have lost his character somewhere along the way. He mistreats people. Um, it's terrible the way he speaks of women and treat, treats women. That really bothers me because I don't believe I've ever brought him up to behave like that. I have a hard time with Dana's marriage, I guess you could call it, um, because I am a believer. If you're married, you're married, and that's it. And if you don't want to be, and you want to be out with other people, then leave the person you're with. Don't make a joke of your marriage. Um, but his marriage is a joke. Um, okay. Well, he, it's, everyone knows that he, he puts Tiger Woods to shame. You know, he has uh, plenty, the ring card girls sleep with him. Um, there's two of them I know for sure. Um, and I don't remember the, I, I don't know if I ever knew her name. Um, she was the first ring card girl and she used to do the Zions commercials for them too. But um, he was, he, I know he was sleeping with her. It used to annoy me. The former ring card girl, Rochelle, he uh, took her out, uh, did a lot of things for her, helped her get into Playboy. She was trying to build a career and she wanted to go well beyond um, being a ring card girl for the UFC. Uh, so Dana was with her at a number of functions and with friends and, and it was pretty obvious that they had a relationship for a while. Yeah, he slept with his sister-in-law in my house, which made me absolutely furious. I mean, he goes after any girl he wants and usually gets them. So his wife is, they're constantly fighting. Um, the honeymoon, she gave him the worst black eye I've ever seen. He nearly lost his eye. So I don't know if that's his way of handling it, but he's gone overboard with handling.